Hey everyone, this is Hayden and welcome to another Creative Nibble. Um, this is a brief topic that is designed to uh, help you with your creative career and your life. Um, today we're going to be getting into organization and, and planning your week. Uh, I think organization is a topic that you know some artists are really into and some maybe not so much. Wherever you lie on that spectrum, I just encourage you to you know really listen, try this on. I really do believe that just spending a little bit of time each week to plan things out is actually just going to give you freedom to really pour into the things that matter to you. So we're going to get started. So I'm going to introduce you to the seven steps that I take every single week in planning my week. Um, each Monday morning before I've done anything else, before I've checked my phone, my email, um, anything, as I sit down, make myself a cup of coffee. Um, and then I just write out these seven steps. Um, so you can follow along as I'm talking. You can you know, pause accordingly if you want to do it that way. Um, you can also go onto the Happy Faces website and I'm going to post a document that lists these questions out that I'm going over. Um, and also, like, you don't even have to do it. Like, maybe just listening to this will be helpful for you. Um, but I do encourage you to try this exercise at least once and see the kind of difference it makes on your week. And it doesn't have to be Monday mornings, like I'm saying. Um, whatever time works best for you, I just encourage you to try and do it at the beginning of the day, at the beginning of a work week, um, where you haven't had the chance to um, have a lot of things like emails and clients and things um, influence what these decisions are going to be. So the first question is what did you accomplish last week? Um, this seems pretty straightforward. Um, just a list of things that you've done last week. It could be um, completing projects, landing new clients, um, you know, making a certain amount of money. Um, whatever you deem to be an accomplishment, you're just gonna list that out. And I think it's really important here that you expand what you normally would consider as an accomplishment. I think it's very easy to disregard small things, um, but this is actually a really good opportunity for you to uh, acknowledge yourself and to just, you know, kind of give yourself a pat on the back, even for the little things that you do. Um, to speak about what I write, yes, I'll put things like landed a new client, um, finished a job I've been working on for months, made a script for a new class, but I'll also write things like did the laundry, went out and bought groceries, um, you know, did the dishes, like even simple things like that, I will sometimes acknowledge um, just because sometimes doing the laundry takes a lot of rallying for me. And I think even though it's small and it seems like a simple, simple thing that doesn't even warrant acknowledgement, um, it can really benefit you to, to do it. Um, you're really kind of, you know, saying, hey, you know, hey, Hayden, well done. Um, you did something that took something from you. And this just kind of builds your confidence and it's a great way to start out the week. The second question we're going to ask is what worked last week? And what I mean by this is what specific thing um, was very beneficial for you in accomplishing what you've accomplished. So maybe you tried some sort of new setup with your schedule. Maybe um, you decided to check your email at noon instead of first thing in the morning and, and you found that that helps you. Maybe um, you decided to read before you went to bed rather than be on your phone. Maybe just something came up that was really helpful for you. And so you just want to record that. The third question is what didn't work last week? And this is just like the one that we just did. You are trying to identify what things did you do, what behaviors or patterns um, were kind of counterintuitive to what you were trying to achieve. And just for these questions, really take the perspective of being an outsider looking in. Um, don't get caught up in the emotions or the morality or, oh man, like I really didn't do what I was supposed to or, oh, I totally slipped. Like it's, it's none of that. It's really just looking, okay, what worked, what didn't work, um, and really just keeping it simple like that. You know, for me, trying to consider what might not work in the past week, I could say, oh, I am... Um, you know, I have, I have a habit of actually over scheduling and I'll block off every single section of time in my calendar. And so I could say, hey, this didn't work because 
it actually had me be really stressed out and removed a bit of the freedom from my life. Um, so that could be something that I write down. The fourth question, which kind of builds off on the previous two, is what will you do differently this week? So based on what you just identified, what worked, what didn't work, what's something you'll do differently? In my case, I could say I will only schedule the most important tasks or I will only schedule things up to a certain time in the day. That might be a nice fix for me um, based on what I identified as not working. Question five is, are you on track to reach your goals? Um, now, this does make the assumption that you have a, a current list of goals that you're shooting for. And if you don't, I highly recommend just even spending a bit of time to just list something out. Um, just write down, you know, even five uh, goals, career or personal um, that you can continue to shoot for. And it's really helpful each week to just kind of gauge your progress. So with this question, you're looking at, okay, am I on track? Am I, am I going at the pace that I want to be going? And if not, you're figuring out what you need to do to correct that. So now number six is where we get into the planning for this week. And the way we're going to do that is first by listing everything that's currently on your plate. So what are all the projects you got going on, whether those are self-initiated, whether they're clients, whether they're uh, through an employer, whatever it is, list everything you have going on just to get a nice you know, snapshot of it. And then also, I want you to list everything that's on your mind. So any projects that have been bouncing around your mind for days, um, any product ideas, anything that you really just want to get out write that down as well. This is not everything that we're going to be doing this week, by the way, just so you know. This is just a really great way to get an idea of everything that you are thinking of. Just empty your brain, really. Just list out everything um, that's on your mind and that's on your plate. Once we have this list, we're going to do two things. We're going to eliminate and prioritize. So for elimination, it's just as it sounds. We're going through and we're taking out things that are not vital. So what I want you to do is actually go through two passes of your list. So go through it and ask yourself, you know, what's, what's really important here? What must get done? And everything else, just cross it out. You can come back to it another week or, or another time, but if it's not important right now, then don't worry about it. Once you have that shorter list, I want you to do it again. Okay, now from this shorter list, what isn't a vital, what's not super important, what doesn't need to get done? Cross all those out as well. Hopefully you'll be left with a pretty short list and the shorter the list, the better because the less things you'll have to spread your focus between during this week. I think it's worth mentioning that if in any given day, you are spending 30 minutes on project A, 30 minutes on project B, 30 minutes on project C, and you're just bouncing back and forth. Um, you're gonna find that by the end of the day, you haven't really felt that you made meaningful progress in any one thing. Um, and that can be really, you know, discouraging. So in setting up our week so that we have as few tasks as possible, um, we're giving ourselves more room to pour lots of time into those meaningful actions. So once you've come up with your short list, we're doing the second part, which is prioritizing. And this really just means writing a number one through whatever um, of the importance of each item on the list. I found that if everything has equal importance or any two things have equal importance, um, it doesn't really work. You kind of need to have a hierarchy, uh, number one and number two and number three. And it makes it so much easier for you to make decisions throughout the week when you're doing things this way. So what you should have uh, by the end of this sixth question um, is a short list of all the important tasks you need to get done this week and an order of importance for them. So the seventh step is to give everything a time. And this means that you're pulling out your calendar, you're opening up Google calendars if you're me, um, maybe you have a, a written book, or maybe you just need a scrap piece of paper and you can you know, write it out and, and tape it to your desk, whatever you need to do. Um, you're just giving all of the actions that you've now listed out a time to be completed. And what's gonna happen is this is now gonna serve as your reference going forward in the week. 
anytime that you get uh, a new request from somebody, um, a new idea pops into your head, um, anything that might pull you in a direction with your time, you can consult your list and be like, okay, I've already decided at the beginning of the week what's important to me to get done, and so I should stick to this. And these are the order in which I should do things. So those are the seven steps that I go through, and I encourage you to try going through yourself um, at the beginning of each week. Um, also, feel free to change the questions around. Like I said, I've been changing mine more and more to kind of make it personal, and some weeks I'll throw in different questions like, hey, Hayden, how are you feeling? Just things like that um, to kind of mix it up and, and play off however I'm, you know, whatever I think is currently necessary for me. So I encourage you to really make this your own as well. Uh, but in the meantime, just give it a go. So that's it for today. Uh, I know that usually I don't do like such a big exercise, but I really do believe that by spending time at the beginning of your, your week, maybe like just half an hour to do something like this, um, it's, it's gonna save you time in you just being focused throughout the entire week and peace of mind in just knowing exactly what you need to be working on. Yes, things are gonna come up as they always do and you might have to adjust accordingly, uh, but this gives you a really, really strong starting point for your week and I encourage you to try and uh, create it as a habit for yourself. So I hope you enjoyed the nibble and uh, take care.